so I thought I would do something uh, something basic on how trading paints works. Um, this isn't you know the ins and outs of trading paints, just how it works with iRacing and your computer and stuff. In case you know, I know there's people out there that don't quite understand how it works, and this may help troubleshoot later too, if you know how it works. So essentially, trading paints. Um, you go to trading paints and you register and everything like that. Get that done and over with. Then there's a your paints page, and on that your paints page, there's an upload for whatever paint you want. So the first thing you do is create a paint on your computer. Make sure it's a TGA. It needs to be a TGA um, before it goes to trading paints. It could be an XCF. It can be a, a PSD um, layered version, whatever. As long as you add a TGA version as well that you can upload to Trading Paints. And Trading Paints, you go there, you go to the your paints page and the vehicle you want and click uh, Upload TGA. You point it to your computer and it'll actually just reach in and grab that paint. Then after that, Trading Paints, remember when you signed in with Trading Paints you had to use your ID that came with iRacing. So pra Trading Paints knows that with the name that you uploaded with, what your ID is. So they rename the file. You can name it whatever you want uploading to Trading Paints. Trading Paints renames it to car, C-A-R, underscore, and then your customer ID number. And then they send it to iRacing. Actually, they send it to your folder. So that way you can see your paint. So what happens next is, let's say you, uh, Trading Paints has your file, it's ready it's to go for when you're ready to race, and you decide, we'll call iRacing logo over the server, you decide that you're going to join the server. So once you do that, Trading Paints is going to see that and say, wait a minute, we need to make sure he has the right paint in the right folder for his car. And so Trading Paints is going to do that for you automatically. They're going to put your paint in your folder. Now let's say four other people join. It's going to be the same thing. Trading Paints is going to take the paint, your paint, and put it in each of their folders with your customer ID as the paint name. That way, when they look at your paint, because it's associated with your customer ID for iRacing, when they look at your paint, it's going to be the paint that Trading Paints puts in there that's yours. I mean, it's going to be your paint. And, then, and vice versa, you're going to have the four different people that join, just hypothetically, their paints are going to be dropped into your folder too, so you can see their paints if they're on Trading Paints. It's the same thing. So Trading Paints says, oh, there's four new members, I need to make sure they have the paint of this member here that just joined. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put that paint in the folder so they can see it. And that paint has your customer ID, which means they see your paint the way you see your paint. It's also going to do the reverse. It's going to take a paint. If these, if any of these individuals were trading paints and have a paint uploaded for this car, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to grab that paint. It's going to rename it, um, which should already be done if, as long as it's been uploaded. All that stuff has been done. All it's going to do is dump the paint into your folder that says this paint belongs to this guy. And that's basically how trading paints works, I think. Man, I almost forgot. Don't forget to have the to download the Trade Paint software too. You need to have that running, so that way when you dump the files into the folders, or when Trading Paints does that, um, the software knows to go look for it. So, um, and plus there's settings here that you're gonna want to set up manually. So to see paints, your own paint if you're using trading paints or other people's paints or for them to see yours you need to have trading paints running uh, this doesn't count when you're I'm not talking about when you're painting a car I'm talking about when you're using a car for a race or something like that so don't forget the software looks something like this you know make sure the software is running and that's it thanks